How do you punch in in Pro Tools? Really easy to do. To record in any location in the timeline, simply use the selector tool to drop your cursor at the location that you want your recording to start. In this example, I put my cursor towards the beginning, record enable the track, record enable the transport, and hit play. And I'm recording. Same thing if I already have audio in the track. Drop the cursor at the location I want to punch in. Going to record. And it will start recording at that location. It's also easy to designate where you want the record punch in to end simply by making a selection. So if you make a selection in the timeline, you're telling Pro Tools to start recording at that location and end recording at the end of the selection. You probably want to use a pre-roll though so that you can get into the groove, hear the chord changes before your punch in location. Enable the pre-roll. If you don't see this pre-roll section up at the top of your edit window, go to the edit window view selector and enable the transport and expanded transport views and you'll see pre-roll. You can also find it in the transport window. Type in the value that you want. In this case I've got three bars. That will give me three bars of playback prior to my selection. Pro Tools will start recording at the beginning of the selection. It will stop recording at the end of the selection. I can also use a foot switch, assuming I have an audio interface that has a foot switch port on it. And with that foot switch, you can add any standard uh, MIDI uh, sustain pedal from your MIDI keyboard. Or if you don't have one of those, you can pick one up. They're very cheap. Um, any brand will do it. You can use it as a punch in, punch out foot switch. Another tip is to use Quick Punch under the Options menu. This will allow you to easily edit the punch in and punch out locations, assuming they might need a crossfade. If you don't use Quick Punch, the file that you create will be exactly the length of the selection that you've made, and your ability to edit the punch in and punch out locations could be limited. You might see a dialog like this. Here's a couple of shortcuts for setting your pre-roll and or post-roll lengths. When you click on the pre-roll or post-roll button, you're enabling it. Of course, you have to have some value in there. I've currently got it set to one bar for each pre-roll and post-roll. You'll see there's a little yellow flag in the ruler, the main counter ruler. I've got bars and beats that shows where my pre-roll will start and where the post-roll will will end. You can easily drag those to another location if you'd like to extend or shorten those pre-roll or post-roll times. Or another way to do it is to option click, option on a Mac, alt on a PC, in the timeline where you want your pre-roll to start or post-roll to end. So I'm going to option click here. You'll notice that my pre-roll flag updated to that location. Now your clicking in the actual audio timeline, not in the ruler. Uh, that will lose your selection like I just did. Option click after the clip will adjust the post roll to whatever time or position that you want.